Greetings fencers, the next verses are about the two lower hangings. Now these are actually quite an odd choice because there's a long section specifically about the hangings and windings further down the page. I will give you my idea why Lichnauer put them before the long point section and not after, but first let's look through the verses and some information you should know. The lower hanging is stated as the position plow. This is referring less to a retracted position, but more so to the offensive ways held further and specifically covering the opening. If I hold it back here, it does not cover the openings unless I move it, but anywhere here it can be covering the opening. Now later Lichtenauer sources often show the thumb on the blade and using the short edge for the left. However, in 3227A and in many pictures, the thumb on the blade is not used and it will be exclusively the long edge in hanging and winding. The thumb and short edge seems to be a later development, so either way will work and you can choose. Now the last clue for these hangings is that they are said to come from the Oberhauen and Unterhauen. It's the option to, instead of cutting extended and offensively into long point, you shorten your cut into a hanging to cover an opening. The other name for that is Abzetzen, or setting aside. In this case, done more defensively and not as a single tempo counterthrust. This is the first example in the ring egg for the lower hanging. It's for this reason that I think it's shown before the long point guard Sprechfenster to contrast the two before going to the windings. If I counter cut in long point, I do not cover an opening. Long point covers you with threat, not shielding. But cutting to plow will cover your opening for safety if you are late in the Vorschlag or first strike. It does shorten your range and is unlikely to hit in one tempo. But you've probably seen fencers who get hit in their hands really easily, and fencers who cut at where your hands end up in long point. Learning to cut into the hangings or set aside is a very important skill to learn and will help protect your hands. When teaching it, I take the visual words to heart and practice driving my left hand hard to the earth. So now we've learned to cut into the lower hanging instead of trying to use a master cut in one tempo. We now have the problem that we're in the after and made a defensive move. As long as they made a real cut, they have weakened themselves side to side, and we have the center line while they're weak or soft in the bind, and immediately take the before with thrust to the face. If they push your thrust up, then wind into the upper hanging. If you've seen multiple of my episodes, you probably know it's my belief that fencers of this time defaulted into crown guard more often, however modern hemis tend to push swords side to side more often. Both are shown in the manuscripts though, in which case there's outer taking and doubling for blade contact counters. Lichnauer says to feel the hard and soft and act accordingly, after making the setting aside or setting off. Now I'm going to save the specifics of winding to the winding episode, but some good things to practice for the lower hangs are centerline multiple choice drills which can also be called hard and soft options, though not always identical. Have your partner cut and you step off to the side and cut hard into plow. If you have the center line, thrust. Or if your partner pushes your point to the side, then pull and cut. Or place whatever hard bind option you wish to practice. A third option is your opponent cuts and immediately cuts again and you cut hard into the other plow and use the same two options as before. A technical note is because we're not attacking at the same time and instead focusing on displacing, it's important not to step forward. You want to create time, step off to the side with a triangle step or step backwards. This, in my opinion, is Lichnauer's answer to fighting in the after. If you're late on the counter cut or want to protect your hands or yourself, setting aside then instantly feeling the softer hard. It can also be done in the before if plow is your starting position, but don't sit in plow expecting someone to attack that opening. Practicing to displace or parry is an important base skill. There can sometimes be a grey zone from the hanging to long point, but the main factor is the conscious decision to cover instead of hit. My Facetzen episode goes through a bit of this concept as well. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing.
Oh, nice. The reverse grip. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>